enemy is before us. Rest. Leaving combat area. Remain vigilant. I am certain news of the coup has yet to reach the rest of the kingdom. We must contain this situation to the capital at all cost. Come, there is no time to lose. We mustn't turn away, Princess Leticia. We are nearing the capital. Let us proceed northeast. Chancellor! Those who betray the crown should not be suffered to draw a single breath. Had we turned our backs, this serpent would have done the same to us. I had no choice, Your Highness. Very well. Now. Let us make haste to the royal palace. We must needs locate his majesty as quickly as possible. Albert. It is nothing. Let us hurry. We to keep ourselves apart. On your knees! Princess Leticia, where are you going? We must see to his majesty's safety at once. Fight! I see your enemy! Here I am! Oh, no. Come to fight! You have to To continue I will not fall too close. A promise left unfulfilled. Why? How could this have happened? Oh, no. 
several hostile entities detected ahead. Little Duma, wait! That's not an enemy, it's Theo! Cuz! Wait! Hold position! <sighs> you two are supposed to be in Nilbeth. Ray and the others are finishing our work there as we speak. I... I see. How then did you cross the ocean? Commander Theo, I sent a vessel to usher their return home. Certainly you must see that her highness's strength... is needed. Hmm, perhaps. Cousin, is father all right? Y yes we have received no word of any harm befalling his majesty such words are all i needed to hear i am certain father has found safety let us first find elena and chloe hold a moment commander theo by chance you are also not a traitor i letty and Albi's safety was and still is my only concern you know this very well now is hardly the time for idle chatter besides. Men, continue the search. Sir Albert and I will see to Princess Leticia's safety. Yes, yes sir. sir! We've only to cut Elena. ourselves in half. Let us make for a more open area. With Elena there, I can certainly be safe. Chance of survival dropping. Warning. Energy levels low. Destroy. I must catch my breath. It is a big I cannot. Warning. Energy levels low. Initiate emergency protocols. Chance of unable to 
can follow my lead. Trend. Elena, are you all right? I am yet unscathed, thanks to your highness's esteemed guest. Well, Leticia, on the contrary. Captain Bertrand was responsible for guiding us to safety. Where are my father and Chloe? I am certain they are safe. How can you be so sure? <sighs> because his majesty said they would be. Captain, how can a man of your rank speak in so vexing a manner? No. No, I understand his meaning clearly. There is an escape route known only to the royal family for situations such as this. Not even my lord uncle or Theo know of it. Such a passage exists? No wonder we couldn't find them. Am I correct in assuming Chloe is with my father? You are indeed. His Majesty couldn't walk on his own, so Chloe provided support. We must abandon the Royal City for now, and escape to Kato. Why Kato? I saw no signs of the uprising there. We can regroup and make our resurgence. The escape route I mentioned also exits facing Kato. Follow me, everyone. Certain my father is beyond it. Come. Father! Chloe! A 
Leticia! Albert! Helena! It's really you! Your Majesty! You are safe! I must apologize for allowing Lambert to exercise such power unchecked. I was too weak. Our first priority should be to escape the Duke's clutches. Here, Your Majesty, you can... <laughs> Lord Neon, please lead the way. I shall see to His Majesty. My shoulder is yours, Your Majesty. Are you certain, Albert? You're on. Maester Midas and Lady Malkia have bestowed upon me a new one. A sturdy one at that. You have my thanks. We need to hurry up and get out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. Hold out just a little longer, Chloe. I've already informed Ray of our situation. I'm sure he'll be back soon. All right, everyone. Let us be off and hasten our escape from the Royal City. I am afraid I cannot allow that. Lord Nayar, what is the meaning of this? <sighs> I must truly thank you for leading me here, Your Highness. If not for you, we would have never found it. A gas mask! Everyone, down the passageway! Too late! <laughs> I am sorry, Princess Leticia, but there will be no escape. Both you and your father shall be returned to the palace immediately. It does not seem to be working as quickly as I'd hoped. I was told this substance would work near instantaneously if used within close confines. Perhaps you underestimated the proper dosage. Could you? The active ingredient in this nerve gas was extracted from the fungi from Mount Cotterinth, am I correct? Ah, I see now. You must be this android that they had spoken of. I am certainly not surprised you know about me, given your close connection to the Vale Empire. Allow me to give you a demonstration. It can't be. You are... okay? Chloe? Albert... Leticia is... awake. Highness! Albert... I... Father! Where is Father? Be at ease, Highness. His Majesty is in this cell. He is not yet awake, but he is alive. Oh, oh thank, thank goodness. I, I cannot. How can this be? I share in your disbelief. To think, to think Theo would be involved. I... I was well aware my Lord Uncle was unhappy with the state of the kingdom. But I never dreamed he would go this far. Albert, where is Captain Bertrand? He may be in another dungeon. Or perhaps the captain has also betrayed... No, not betrayed. What? Elena and me. Bertrand saved. He was 
worried. It is true. I hope you are right, Chloe. The Empire is at our door. What could we do if they chose to invade us now? You no longer need have any worry of that, Princess. Neon! Cousin! That woman was the Imperial spy hiding out in Mount Cotterinth. I am aware. Calm yourself. You were colluding with the Empire from the start? Finally, he gets it. Pretty slow on the uptake, aren't you? No. Cousin, please tell me it is not true. Uncle, too. It cannot be. <laughs> the Vale Empire would have no need to invade the royal city in its current state. For you see, they have been here all along, with I as their emissary. <sighs> now that both you and His Majesty are here, and Duke Lambert has accepted our invitation, the fighting, at last, is at an end. You can rest easy, knowing that. <sighs> the final drops of blood will be spilled on the execution ground ere the morrow. Let your lives be the last claimed by this grisly war. Finally, this world will know peace. Your Highness's dreams of tranquility are coming to fruition. You should be overjoyed. Neon! You fiend! Theo! Have you nothing to say? What is wrong with you? You would truly condemn Her Highness, Letty, to death? Her blood is on Ray's hands. If it was not for him, you two would surely still be twiddling your thumbs in Delric, oblivious to all. What? I myself was overjoyed when Letty insisted on venturing forth to find Maester Midas. I was completely certain this transition would come to pass with you both out of harm's way. I arranged many things for you, didn't I? Cousin, you too believed me to be so incapable? And if only you had been, you all would have been spared such a fate by my hands. Now, tinders to the flame. The boy lacks resolve, unlike his father. Albert, my original plan only required you to be absent from the capital, away from his majesty. No, you cannot mean... It is just as you imagine. Neon, what happened to that orb that was with the princess? Orb? We call it Duma. It's highly dangerous. Last I saw, it was with the princess. Where is it now? It will be found. Not to worry. I doubt it will be much of an issue once we have executed the princess. That is for us to decide. We need to begin our analysis of the android. Hurry it up. Does she really think the Emperor's protection allows her to speak to me so? How unfortunate your allies are stranded on Nilbeth, Princess. A pity. I'm afraid no one shall be coming to your rescue this time. Damn it. Damn it all! There must be something. Something we can do. Can anyone hear me? You will pay dearly for this, Theo Lambert! How could you turn your backs on everything the Royal Knights stand for? Leticia... There truly is... 
is no hope left to us. Princess Leticia, the sentence dealt to both you and your father has been decided. Would you step outside, please? What will become of us? You should find the arrangement amicable. If your highness but simply agrees to our terms, you would not only save your own life, but bring lasting peace throughout your lands. Let us go. I am sorry for everything. Leticia! Your Highness! Do not go! Come back! Your Highness! Damn it. Is... Is there truly not I can do? After all the pain and sacrifice to renew this arm, still, I am useless! Albert? Albert! There is... something wrong! Your arm, swelling from the inside, very strange. Are you alright? What is this? Neon, you wretched boy! Please, spare me, your majesty. Your empty words leave you only the more pitiful in my eyes. What do you want from us? Desperation suits you ill, princess. Fret not, no harm will befall either of you this moment. I am here with good tidings, in fact. An offer to allow your royal bloodline a future. Yet you speak with not a shred of sincerity in your words. Duke Lambert will take charge of the kingdom henceforth. These lands will be graciously ceded to the Empire, and your majesty will be put to death as a show of allegiance. Oh, but do not misjudge me. I have not forgotten my years in service to you. With your cooperation, I would see to it that at least Princess Leticia's life is spared. Tell me, do you know of Prince Gerard? The heir of Emperor Bulldor, Crown Prince of the Empire. What say you were to be his bride? Certainly not! It is the Emperor's wish. Take Prince Gerard's hand in matrimony, and your bloodlines will be... I refuse. I have no intention of sacrificing my dignity after all of this. <laughs> Even if it assured safety of your little guard dog? I know Albert would not want that. So be it. Let us heed Her Highness's words, disappointing though they be. <laughs> Ready! Huh? Cousin. If you yet live, there may still be hope for change. What change could such a life bring? If I require the warmth of my enemies to live, I may as well be dead. Her Highness has chosen to die with dignity. Who are we to deny her of such? <sighs> Damn you! Both Lola and myself, and now you too, have afforded the Princess every opportunity to consider her options. She has made her choice. Take them away! What will you do with us? You have rejected our every guarantee of safety. Surely you know. I... I suppose I do. Lena! 
Nina, no! How could you do this to her? Huh. Uh... You think that thing's dead, don't you? Come again? She's an android. And for now, she's been switched off. She yet lives? For now. She will be good as dead soon enough, though. What will you do with Elena? Dismantle and destroy. You were the one leading Duma around. But... There is no telling if this android might also be connected. Right. Take her away. No, wait! Helena! Wake up, please! Wake up! Why, Elena? Why must she perish as well? Dearest Leticia, I am sorry you must see your companion suffer so. No, I cannot lose hope. Not yet. Duma. Good people of Osirius, I understand the frustrations of you many who know so little. But know that the current royal family has done nothing to stop the spread of Helgar's disease. Even now, as sickness spreads rampantly across our land, they would thrust us into war with the Vale Empire. The royal family has no regard for the hardships of their loyal subjects. We can suffer their covetous thirst for war not a moment longer. As of this day, the kingdom of Osirius is no more. The lands we stand upon are to be reborn anew as the glorious United Empire of Vale. We can no longer sacrifice our loyal knights and subjects to their war machine. Pray tell, are a single one of you aware who struck the first blow at Baldar? It was none other than the forces under the command of King Osirius himself. His Excellency, Emperor Baldor, has called for reconciliation between our nations. Yet Princess Leticia refuses his offer, as does her father, the King. If we stand by and allow them to rule, then we do not but fan the flames of war, sentencing countless of our own to needless death. By our actions here today, we bring peace. Today marks the dawn of a new dynasty headed by Duke Lumbert Clamrath. The past must burn! Stay your hand! Father, Chancellor Neon, I beseech you, leave the execution of His Majesty and Princess Leticia to me! What is he doing here? Is he not here by your command? Theo. Letty, I'm truly sorry for allowing things to go this far. I cannot ask for your forgiveness. Cousin! At the very least, Allow me to drop the final curtain with my own hands. Huh? Huh? You bastards. I will not allow any of you to lay another finger on my little sister! We can stand for no more of this! Let Theo burn with them! Neon, no! Fire! <gasps> what is this? Duma! Duma! Plan is too reckless by half. 
Your Majesty, are you all right? Wait, yes. <sighs> Quit gawking! Kill them! Sir, we're under attack! What? Charge! Ray and the others are here. Let us capitalize on this chaos and push through. Zero. You. Two doing, Colonel Valange. Could that be? Oh, yep. Looks like this bastard's another one of the Veer helping the Empire. You stay out of this. The princess's life is mine. Prepare to withdraw. Neon has lost control. Understood, Colonel. Wait. You would truly abandon us to this chaos? <laughs> You and the boy can see yourselves out of this mess. Blast it! We cannot let them get away! That is true. However, I doubt these two will simply let us pass. The orchestrators of the coup shall not be permitted to flee! Silence your tongue! You believe I shall sit idly by and let some pampered princess thwart my plans? Don't get caught, Doctor. What? And for all, all our effort will not be put to waste here. Come, one of the wrong things. Probably not 
Traitors in arms. None. I will not abide by this. Here. your arms just what happened here looks like you've had a time of it there were a few bumps we didn't account for well you're the one who has to give the Emperor the bad news hey what is this coffee hour do you think you're actually gonna get away pardon me we actually will be getting away this easily This is not over yet. We have much to deal with here. Princess Leticia, I've shamed my name and post by allowing this. You have not to apologize for, Captain. Without your help, we could have never stopped Neon's plot. That may be true, but this bedlam hasn't recovered in the slightest. Gosh, Uncle Midas. Always so quick to be a downer. But he speaks the truth. Should the Empire come calling, we will not last the night. We lack soldiers, officers, barely not on hand. Theo did help save Leticia's life. Can't you lighten his punishment? He was in league with the enemy and harmed the royal family. I doubt many men should like to serve under his ilk. It was Theo and Neon who conspired at the laboratory on Mount Cotterinth as well. He is beyond pardon. That fool! Only our team from the Semiomancy Consortium is left uncrippled by this battle. If we have Semiomancers, what about using the Fulga? It was originally designed to be used by Semiomancers, right? Out of the question. Now isn't the time to be so stubborn. We do not have adequate time. You trust the Empire to sit idle while we sail a ship to Nilbeth? Retrieve the Levitas Ore, then return to construct a full Falga Battalion to be combat ready? How much time do you suppose that might take? I do not state this lightly. It will take three months at the very least just to get the number of Falga at hand airborne and ready for combat. Impossible, then. If Baldar moves to attack, we would not last three days. Leticia, tell me. What are these Folga you all now speak of? It is merely a foolish old dream. Pay it no heed. No. I truly feel it would be beneficial for Father and Captain Bertrand to see it. Director Malthea? <sighs> Very well, then. Please, let us all continue this conversation at the Semiomancy Consortium. <laughs>